Welcome back to the channel Einstein's Mechanics. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about solution of a differential equation. Now, the solution of a differential equation is a function y of x that satisfies the differential equation. The function y of x that satisfies the differential equation. So let's start with an example. So if we have a function y of x which equals c1 sine 2x plus c2 cos 2x where c1 and c2 are constants we are supposed to show that this function is the solution to this differential equation y prime prime plus or y equals zero So we are supposed to show that this function is a solution to this differential equation. So how are we going to go by this? So what you have to do is you find a second derivative of this function. Then you put it here. Then you put the function also here because this is y already given. Then you put it here. If it gives us zero, then in this is really a solution to this so let's start so we have the function y of x which equals c1 sine 2x plus c2 cos 2x we want to find the second derivative that's y prime prime but we have to first of all find y so let's take the first derivative so i'll be ignoring the of x like this so y prime will be equal to so c1 is a constant right when we differentiate sine we get cos but don't forget that we have a way of differentiating trig functions you differentiate the angle and multiply it by the derivative of that trig function so here c1 is here if, if you differentiate the angle sine 2 you're going to get let me put this in a bracket you're going to get 2 and when you differentiate sine, you are going to get cos to so cos x plus c2 is a constant. When you differentiate the 2x to you, you are going to get 2 here. When you differentiate cos, you are going to get negative sine. So multiplying negative sine 2x. So when we simplify, you are going to get 2c1. 2x minus 2c2 sine 2x. So this is the first derivative. Now let's take the second derivative y prime prime. Y prime prime is going to be so 2c1 here is constant. So let's put that one and differentiate the function itself. Now when we differentiate cos 2x, you are going to get negative 2 sine 2x minus let's put our 2c2 here when you differentiate sine 2x you will get 2 cos 2x so at the end of the day the second derivative of y of x is going to be negative 4c1 sine 2x minus 4c2 cos 2x. Alright, let me make space and let's continue with what we are doing. So we have the second derivative. So we are going to put it in the differential equation and see if we are going to get zero. If we do get zero, then it is a solution. The function y of x is a solution to that particular differential equation. All right. So we have y prime prime. We are substituting the y prime prime here into this differential equation. We're going to get negative 4c1 sine 2x minus 4 
c2 cos dx plus for multiplying y so y the function which is given so c1 sine 2x plus c2 cos dx let's simplify so we have negative for c1 sine 2x minus 4 c2 cos 2x plus 4 c1 sine 2x plus 4 c2 cos 2x we have negative 4 sine ne negative 4 c1 sine 2x here and we have positive here to take care of each other, each other. this will also take care of this so at the end of the day we are going to get zero so this function is indeed a solution to this differential equation because when we took the second derivative plus for multiplying the function it gave us zero which satisfied the what the differential equation so it means that is a solution to the differential equation let's try another example all right is y of x equals one a solution to the differential equation y prime prime plus two y prime plus y equals x that's the question we have been asked if this is a solution to this so is this a solution to this is this a solution to this so we go by the normal procedure we have our y of x which equals one so here we need the first derivative, the second derivative, and the y itself. We already have the y. So let's find its first derivative and the second derivative. So y prime of x is going to give us zero. Y prime prime of x is also going to give us zero. So we, let's substitute everything here. So y prime prime, which is zero, plus two times y prime, which is also zero, plus y, which is what? One. So it's obvious that this is going to give us one. Not x therefore we are we can say that y of x is not a solution it's not a solution to what to this differential equation because when we, we took the second and the first derivative and substitute everything here we didn't get x we had one therefore this is not a solution to this differential equation so that is that when we are talking about the solution of a differential equation